Now, drinking clean water remains out of reach for many South Africans, but a solution is at hand for people in parts of the Eastern Cape and perhaps the rest of the country. Transnet's National Ports Authority has developed a desalination plant that will convert seawater into water that's safe to drink. For more on this, let's speak to the Executive Manager for Utilities uh, Development at Transnet's National Ports Authority, Tandogasi Nguma Moyo. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon, Tandogasi. And, and maybe let's start with the selection process that you undertook as the TNPA. Uh, when it came to a suitable partner uh, to take on this mammoth project in the province. Thank you. Thank you, Rufu. So, yes, indeed, uh, we undertook a very rigorous open tender process through our supply chain processes and policies, policy, uh, processes and policies. But what is important to note that we um, initially went out to the market through a request for information process where we wanted to understand if there were any entities within the country or even outside the country that could assist in us uh, getting this solution. And we then set up a criteria and uh, the different entities that responded to our uh, open tender process um, then uh, gave us what they could uh, provide. And then we selected this particular entity uh, based on various uh, 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 reasons which are prescribed in our procurement processes. Um, uh, but because, again, what we appreciated about them is just the track record uh, uh, in this particular space. Yeah, and that's just the partner we're talking about is the Norland Civil Engineers and Contractors and Impact Water Solutions um, trading as Sun Water East London. Uh, that will be part of this project as well. Tandogazi, how much uh, is budgeted for this particular project and the impact it will have, uh, have in the provision of fresh water for, uh, East, um, for uh, the 